Hello, Akron fans, and welcome to the semifinals of the July 17th, 2011 Akron Beta Tournament. This match is between Google Frog playing CISO in the west side of the map, and Sickles playing Greckham in the east side of the map. And this is Felsic Inferno, a map we've seen a couple times on the channel. This is a rather resource-heavy map, rather unusually nowadays for Akron. It's got main bases. The main base of Sickles here, the east main base, has six LC and 3QP, same with the west main base. To the north, there's an expansion with 7 LC and 4QP on each side, for, with one for each player, and the middle is where most of the resources are, and they're very contentious resources at that. The whole idea is that players are going to have a very hard time getting very secure resources, but they will have a fair amount of resources that are secure enough that they can still build up properly. So Sickles is going for a fairly economic start, while Google Frog is going for an economic start as well, as well as an early importer. So once again, early importer with 5 RPs from Google Frog. Likely going for a bit of an early, probably early factory, maybe early ATHC, and just building up from there. He doesn't know that Sickles is Greckham yet, or he may not know if Sickles is Greckham yet. He might have actually heard it and figured it out. And he is getting early factories, so probably, like I said, an early ATHC, just cloaked harassment. It's very common for CISO nowadays, but not entirely sure if that is what Google Frog is doing. He is, however, sending a Marine up to the north to take that expansion very quickly, while Sickles, at the same time, is going to be building up his natural expansion in near the center of the map, or not near the center of the map, but towards the center of the map. And he's also building, getting an Octo up to scout out, yeah, scout out the main base of Google Frog while sending out another Octo. So he's getting six, six LC, three QPRPs, getting a lot of Octos as well, and to his expansion as well. So he has two LC, two QP in his expansion, or will very soon. Sickles, like I said, before is a very economic player, very focused on building up a ton of RPs before building up a ton of units. And here we have the ATHC, so he'll be cloaking up very quickly and being sent out to harass and scout. Will be seeing the Octo on its way out though, probably, unless the Octo managed to actually fast it. No, it didn't. The Octo has been spotted. So Google Frog says there's an Octo here. He knows well enough. He's jumping back just to make sure he has everything set up. He's getting machinery very quickly. He's jumped back about 30 seconds. It looks like he's setting up Another RP as well, 30 seconds in the past. Sickles, on the other hand, about a minute up from here, does have his Octo coming into the base. It's completely passed by the ATHC. It has been destroyed, though. He knows what Google Frog is up to. He knows he has two importers and a factory, so he's going to be expecting some early rush, some early harassment. He has some Octopods set up and a couple of Faros, so Sickles is well prepared for an ATHC harassment, which will be coming in very quickly. Google Frog, about a minute and a half down. His ATHC, from his point of view, is just coming up now. It's actually chasing the Octo, so... The ATHC, Google Frog will have to micro that a bit better, get that around, just avoid that Octo because he doesn't want to get hit by the Octo. Sickles knows well enough right now that it's ATHC that's coming in and will be dealing a fair amount of damage, but it won't be dealing as much damage if it attacks too late. So the ATHC will be coming in, both players are looking at this time, actually Google Frog's jumped back for 3 seconds, but Sickles is looking about this time, and he does see, or he does see an ATHC coming in, attacking his base, attacking with these RPs right now, and Google Frog about a minute and a half down is... Still focused on the ATHC, probably going to be sending it... You know, he still is sending it to attack that Octo, very interestingly. I don't know why he's trying to attack the Octo, because really, he should be focusing on attacking Sickles' base as quickly as possible. And on the present, we see that Sickles is being hit. It looks like the ATHC is managing to get in. It will be dealing some damage once it gets to this RP. No, it's actually going straight to the base. It's avoiding the RPs entirely, going straight to the main base, which is a very bad idea, actually, because... Although Google Frog doesn't know this, know this yet, there's Octopods and Faros waiting for him in the main base that will be able to deal with that ATHC in a hurry. And there they are, so the Octopods and Faros are here, they can see the ATHC, they're going to be dealing a ton of damage to it, the ATHC will hardly be able to do anything before it gets destroyed. Google Frog's going to try to run around, get back behind the RPs and harass them there, but it probably won't be doing too much because the Octopods still have very large range, or large enough to get past the RPs, and the ATHC will be just stuck in this area behind the RPs, won't be able to do too much. Google Frog seems to be really trying to figure out what to do with the ATHC right now to have the best harassment possible. And it looks like the harassment will be coming in. Actually, no, he's delayed it. Google Frog has delayed the, the harassment. Try to get Sickles on his toes. However, Sickles would realize that there is the harassment coming from the north. His Octopus and Faros are going the wrong way, but it looks like they just don't care anymore. He's probably going for a direct attack. He has a lot of RPs as it is. He has three RPs on each resource in his expansion. He has 5 LC and 3 QP, although 4 LC now, and 3 QP, and the ATHC is actually dealing a lot of damage. I think Google Frog's delaying now will mess that up. I think my guess is what Google Frog's trying to do is that he has the ATHC dealing some damage on a time wave, and now it looks like the ATHC has not been sent at all. 
So it looks like an echo attack. Which, technically, yes, it is an echo attack, but because the ATC is still in the base of Sickles, Sickles is still going to be able to be attacked very quickly. Sickles has to still watch out for this. So as far as he's aware, the ATC has been destroyed, but of course it hasn't. It's just hanging out in his base, cloaked, right out of his view. A very clever little stretch by Google Frog. I'd be very surprised to see how this plays out. And right now, Carpart Farpot's coming in, actually will destroy that ATC, so it's made that entire point moot. Okay, that was, that's kind of sad, because I would have really liked to see how that ATHC would have panned out, but no, nope, too bad. Farpot's coming in from Sickle's Corner Port from the future, and going to be dealing a lot of damage, I'm sure, and actually the ATHC has been spotted as well, so that did not pan out at all for, for Google Frogs. So Google Frogs going to have to deal with these Farpots coming in very quickly. Dealing a ton of damage to one of his factors, going to be destroying it very quickly, and Sickles is jumping back towards the future, just to double check what's going on. He does see the ATHC, of course it has decloaked, so he would have figured out that way what happened. But of course the ATHC is not dealing enough damage, especially not the RPs that matter when they matter. Google Frog, on the other hand, is trying to figure out what to do with this. His ATHC has been destroyed, but he, what he could really do right now is run back and hit the QPRPs, try to close them as long as possible. But no, he's not. he doesn't look to be doing that right now. It'd be the best idea, because that way, that would at least delay Corona Porting, if not completely undermine it. But Sickles has probably had Chronoport for a while. He is going to be able to Chronoport the units effectively. He has more Farpots coming in as well, so that ATHC will not be able to do too much, even if Google Frog does jump back to when it was more alive. So right now, a lot of Farpots dealing a ton of damage, and probably four Farpots now, I'm sure, with two Chronoports coming in. And yes, so the Farpots are being able to be seen. Two Farpots are hitting right now, and I'm sure two more are coming in with the Chronoport, but this is going to be very difficult for... For Google Frog to deal with. He has a Tornado to help deal with it as well, to help the tech cloak. A turret as well coming up, so Google Frog will actually be able to deal with this fairly effectively, but Sickles, like I said, has sent another set of Chronoport units, so yeah, here we are. So we have the two Farpods coming in here, and the other Farpods have not arrived yet from where Sickles is looking. Sickles is about a minute down from Google Frog, and the other Farpods are coming in. No, Semipod actually coming in very quickly. So Semipod coming in, just to double check around for cloaked ATHCs, and like I said, Google Frog. He really could have used the ATHC down in the base to help harass, but unfortunately he didn't manage to take advantage of that very clutch timing he could have had. However, he does still have the resources to defend himself. He still has a turret, he still has stuff set up to help, but it's going to be very difficult for him to push past this far up on attack that's coming in very quickly. And Tornod... Tornods will be helpful, because Tornods are anti-air units. Or no, anti-ground units, sorry, but they are air units. And Farpods are anti-ground units, they aren't anti-air units, but the Sigpod coming in, however, is an anti-air unit, and will be able to deal a lot of damage to that Tornod if it gets nearby. But the Tornod has done its job, the Sigpod will not be able to stop it from destroying the Farpod, and the Sigpod itself will actually be destroyed very quickly before it manages to kill the Tornod. So that Tornod is securely in the base, everything seems pretty stable for Google Frog. Sickles hasn't got anything more Chronoport back yet, but he has got a lot of stuff back near the present, building up base, getting his Sigpods up around the map, just making sure nothing fishy's going on. Lots of units set up around the map just to detect for more cloaked units coming in. Faros, Sepipods, Octopods to help defend. Octos coming up here to help build up for more resources. So, yeah, and actually a huge army coming in directly, not for resources, but just for a straight attack on Google Frog's base, so, or at least in the middle of the map. So there's going to be a lot more from Sickles coming in in the future. Google Frog has to be building up very quickly to help deal with this. He appears, to, he's getting a macro fab, he appears to be setting up his own defenses as well, mostly against air, which is a very good idea. He has a Tornod coming in to Sickles' base to damage the RPs a fair bit, and Sickles has actually jumped back as well to help see if he can do anything to deal with this. Jumping into the unplayable pass to see what's going on, double checks his attack, see what Google Frog had before Google Frog managed to stop his attack and cause Sickles to lose sight of Google Frog's base. So Google Frog doesn't have much that he's really giving away to Sickles right now. He does have the Tornod that is attacking Sickles' RPs, but Sickles doesn't seem to be too concerned about that. He is getting RPs on the north side of the map. He's getting a lot of QPRPs there. He's got a fairly large army in the middle of the map, which looks like it's going to be attacking very quickly towards... Yeah, it appears to be attacking very quickly towards Google Frog's base, so Google Frog is going to be very heavily assaulted near the present, and at, the same, at Google Frog's time, about a minute down, he has some forces, he has a lot of turrets, he has a lot of lancers and a Tornod coming in as well, another Tornod to help deal with these R RPs, but... There will be a lot of units coming in from Sickles very shortly, which will be dealing a huge amount of damage if they aren't dealt with in a hurry. And it looks like they will be attacking right now. So the Autobot, see the Autobot coming in from the ridge to the north. Google Frog's actually jumped back near the unplayable pass to see what's going on there. He sees that there is a or Farpod coming in as well. Right, it looks like there's actually been another Chronoport from Sickles towards the unplayable pass. 
Yes, there has. So it, however, has not been. The arrival has not hit the timeline yet. But Sickles' attack has hit the timeline and it is dealing a lot of damage. Destroyed one of the turrets, destroyed quite a few of the RPs. The other turret is trying to do what it can to take care of all these units, but it's not going to be doing enough. The Octopods are hitting the main base, dealing some damage to the factories, but not a whole lot. The factories will be able to build up defense quite quickly. Google Frog jumping back towards the Unplayable Past or near the Unplayable Past with his units. Looks like he's actually just set them up now for defense against the units coming in now. Farpod has come in. I don't think that was the one that was being chronoported, but if it was, it was not particularly effective. So, at the very least, that Farpod won't be able to deal a whole lot of damage. That blue time wave, the blue time wave right here, will be what lets us know what will actually happen ultimately. But it looks like Sickles is going to be held off once again by Google Frog's defenses. Fairly good defense, but unfortunately not a whole lot of attack. Google Frog also is not getting a lot of tech. He has a fair amount of resources, but he's not. He didn't take his north base very much. He has two RPs at the north. He's getting more, I'm sure, in the soon, but he isn't really going for it very heavily. More Karma Pro Semi Pods coming back to help out defend, but they aren't doing too much. They aren't going to be attacking properly against where they need to attack. Sickles for himself. He is going to be sending back more units. This is it. probably the pods being sent back right now, actually. And he appears to be sending back more units as well. Yes, he is. He is sending back his... Yeah, two more pods coming back. So Sickles is continuing to send back pods and pods to help defend and help attack. But still, don't think there's a lot of damage being done, ultimately. Google Frog... Google Frog hanging out by the Unplayable Pass, doing a very good job defending against what's coming in. Especially the area that's coming in to help. But... Google Frog is still going to have a lot to deal with. There are a lot of Octopods coming in, a lot of Octos being destroyed. One of the turrets is dead, but another turret has been built to replace it. So Google Frog, very effective defense he's building right now. I'm quite surprised that with all the money he has, he hasn't started to build some tech. Like, Gay Tech would be a very good idea. Build up Gay Tech, either Chronoport back to help himself out, or even just get Temporal Solution Shield. Though there are a lot of Sevi Pods, that might not be the best idea. But still, Chronoporting back some units, that would be really helpful right now. That would really put him on par with Sickles, although... For not having chronoporting, Google Frog is doing a very good job defending against all of Sickles' attacks. Sickles, back near the present, seems to be doing quite well, but looks like that attack will be pretty much undone with Google Frog's defense right now. Google Frog is about a minute and a half down from the present, doing a lot of damage, destroyed Sickles' entire natural expansion, attacking even further, got frigates now. He doesn't even have any more units coming in that aren't air units. All air units, he's getting, he is getting weaponry as well, so he will be able to fire off super weapons. In, actually, yeah, when he was, not... Quite, he's getting aerospace, and super weapons, of course, for CISO are nukes from heavy cruisers. So if he gets a heavy cruiser, he will be able to set up a nuke. It would actually not be a bad idea, though rather risky, if he set nuke heavy cruisers back in time to help out. And it looks like Sickles is actually... Did Sickles chronoport back his entire army? No, it doesn't look like he did. However, he did manage to deal a lot of damage to Google Frog close to the unplayable past. So a delayed attack must have come in at some point, dealing a lot of damage. Google Frog is having a hard time dealing with this. He'd had a hard... He must have used time before, but... The attacks have been held off. Google Frog's own air units have been damaged by chronoported units, most likely, from Sickles. So, Sickles' chronoporting managed to pay off. Google Frog, however, did a very good job holding off the attacks when he considered that he wasn't actually using chronoporting. He was fighting a player using chronoporting without chronoporting of his own, doing a very good job of it, but unfortunately didn't manage to make it pay off. And, like I said, getting gate attack of his own would have been a very good idea for Google Frog. He had the resources and he had enough to go with it. However, he's not completely dead yet. He does have five factories, two to the north, building up a lot of mechs, or at least three of them are building up mechs, two of them. One of them is being built up, and he will have, at least this is a costly independent base. I'm not sure how well this is going to work for defense, though. Good to see that Google Frog is still valiantly trying to keep himself alive. He's not giving up yet. Not in a hurry. So, Sickles is going to have to deal with this. He does, however, have a lot of chronoports going along the timeline, and a lot of units chronoporting back to try to deal with all this stuff. So likely he's going to be sending back some Farapods, or even just these Octos, to help deal with this before it becomes a big threat. Google Frog, on the other hand, about two minutes down from Sickles, is going to have to deal with all the units coming in, but he does have turrets set up. He does have a lot of factories set up. He has mechs being built, which are very powerful anti-air units, and he has a lot of factories built up. So as long as he gets the money for it, although he is starting to run out of that, he will need to get some Marines, he will need to get some RPs, his one RP that he has is being attacked very heavily. The mech will need to be able to destroy that. That RP will have to start harvesting very quickly. Although, of course, RPs harvest at a fixed rate. So that's going to be a bit of a challenge with that RP. He's going to have to work extra hard to make sure that it actually is on the winning side. Octo's coming in now for Sickles. Sickles' Octo's are dealing a fair amount of damage. Sickles is actually also apparently chronoported back. More Sevi Pods. Send Sevi Pods near the unplayable past. So, yes, here's the two Sevi Pods chronoported back. So, far more Sevi Pods in this iteration. Very near the unplayable past. Sickles is going to be able to deal enough damage likely to get rid of 
Google Frog's base entirely. So Google Frog, I don't know what he can do from here. A lot of Sexy Paws dealing a ton of damage. Even if Fire Paws joined in the action. Google Frog, on the other hand, has jumped back to the Impalable Pass, seeing what's happened. He sees that his own base has been heavily attacked by more Sexy Paws, but he can't really do much right now. Just reviewing, seeing what's happened between his attacks and his opponent's attacks, and why it was that his air units were destroyed by the Sexy Paws that were corner-ported back, so they couldn't actually do anything. Sexy Paws here, like I said, this is what... This is what caused Google Frog to start losing out before. Sepi Pod's coming in, destroying his air units as he got attacked, or as he was attacking. So he's getting attacked by units that were sent back and were reinforced, pre-enforced, and overall just a much larger force than what Google Frog was able to muster in the same amount of time and same amount of meta time. So Sickles is looking to be winning this match very quickly. He has a lot of units. He has three Octos. He has half a dozen Sepi Pods. He has a Fire Pod as well. Just destroying this base entirely, the backup base of Google Frog. Very valiant effort on Google Frog's part, but really Sickles just had the superior economy and superior meta time stability. And chronoporting also really helps out a lot. I mean, while I do like to see when players are able to beat chronoporting without using chronoporting themselves, it's still a good mid-game strategy to get chronoporting if you can afford it, and Google Frog could definitely have afforded it the entire time, or at least somewhere in the past three or four minutes where he was actually viably alive. So it's a bit of a shame that he managed to get destroyed that in that fashion, but unfortunately Google Frog did not have the tools to manage to completely obliterate Sickles' force in time and in the proper meta time. So Google Frog will be losing this match more than likely. He's checking the unplayable pass, see what happened. Sickles on the other hand is checking closer to the present, about a minute and a half down from the present, seeing what's going on. And it looks like he has his own force, more forces coming in from the main base to help out just to finish off the base, three turrets and two factories, but they're going to be dealt with very quickly by the Sepi Pods and the forces coming from the south. And it looks like a Chronoport is probably going to be set up as well. Yeah, pause, luckily a pause UPP Chronoport attack. So I'm expecting the units to jump back very quickly and just deal even more damage. Yeah, there's the big Chronoport here, and a Chronoport will be arriving sometime in the Unplayable Pass. So Google Frog really well done, valiant effort, but unfortunately didn't use Chronoporting, and that didn't really help out. Also, like I said, I'm kind of surprised the ATHC did not go around. The ATHC that was in the base earlier in the game didn't go around and attack the QPRPs to help stop that first Chrono Port. At least that way, Google Frog would have had a bit of more of an initiative advantage, or at least less of an initiative disadvantage, and would have been able to get rid of some of the forces of Sickles, get around, get more map control, but unfortunately, as it stands, he didn't manage to do that, and Sickles, like I said, he does have a lot of units Chrono Port back, he did see the ATHC, he managed to get rid of it, that was in the north, just hiding out there. More units coming back to help out, deal with this. The Chronoport, here's the Chronoport, big Chronoport arrival that came in. Google Frog checking near the unplayable pass to see what happened, see if there's anything he could possibly have done. Clearly just, just stumped by the fact that he actually did lose like this. Hanging out while well, Sickles is just making sure that he just completely destroys Google Frog's base, and it looks like he's just about to do it. The turret did get in the way, but it's very likely that more units will be coming in shortly. Here we are, five fire pods coming in very shortly to get rid of that last turret. And really, there isn't much Google Frog can do. He's lost all of his units. In any part of the playable pass, Google Frog does not have any units he can actually build with. All he has is that one turret. So that's pretty much going to set the match up. So, yeah, that is basically the game. I know I've said that for the last two or three minutes. It's just that Google Frog has not actually GG'd yet. He seems to be just watching in abject horror at his own base being completely destroyed by hordes, hordes upon hordes of Chronoport Sepi Paws, tearing him to shreds and exposing his innards to the world. Oh, man, that's actually... No, I didn't quite do that. That's actually violent for my standards. Okay, never mind that, but the Sepi Paws did kill him. They did, they did beat him, they did manage to get through his base very effectively, got rid of all of his Aryans earlier on, and now are destroying... Well, now being... Back when we were looking before that, the players keep glancing over to see what's going on. In playable past, five fire pods coming in. Chronoport, or three fire pods, sorry. Chronoport back to help deal with this. Finish this off. Coming around to the north to help deal with it. Apparently, they were trying to attack an earlier iteration of the base where it was a bit more healthy, but doesn't matter. It's still completely dead. Once it gets to the playable past, this will be done. So Google Frog has conceded. He has realized that he can't possibly win no matter what he does, and he is going to. Yeah, just double checking that winnable situation didn't fall off the timeline, and yes, it did. So, Google Frog has now pretty much surrendered. He hasn't officially surrendered yet, but he will be very soon. More units coming in, and yeah, that is going to be GG. So, I hope you enjoyed that, and have a good night.